So before I go to school, I wanted to make this video just straight off the dome. And I wanted to talk about finance YouTubers for a second. I don't think there is a more cringeworthy group of people than finance YouTubers. I mean, seriously, these guys, they tell you, oh, go invest in S&P 500, go invest in NASDAQ, whatever, right? And it's it's such cringe stuff because all their, and I've seen some of these videos, and I used to be one of these people who'd watch this type of content on YouTube. They all just say the same thing over and over and over again. It's like the Graham Steffens of the world, the, uh, what's that guy's name, Dave Ramsey, and who's the other guy, Meet Kevin, right? All these guys, they say the same freaking thing in every single video, right? And let me, let me just show you guys this, right? This right here, I don't know if you can see it, right? Or that is a Discover It card. Right? And I'm showing you this because all these YouTubers make a big deal about when you turn 18, get a credit card or whatever, right? It's not, it's not fucking difficult to do. I've done it. It's not difficult. Now, why are these YouTubers wasting so much time and money and energy trying to tell you to get a credit card and stuff? It's stupid. It, it quite frankly is stupid. And I had this realization only a few days ago that just how stupid it is. And... If you're someone who clicked on this video, kind of confused by the title, and, you know, I would tell you that instead of focusing on the finances, focusing on all the stupid things like credit cards, all that crap, focus on something like this instead. Right? This right here is my journal. I write in it pretty much every other day, every other two days, right? And the whole point of this journal is anytime I think something this bad, anytime I have an idea or some, some, some dilemma, I always write it in here. And to me, that makes me feel a lot better, both about myself and it improves who I am as a person in terms of what I'm trying to do in my life. And all these finance YouTubers, they're gonna say, oh, but no, 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 you should be taking your time and energy and don't, you know, don't, don't buy this book, right? That's what someone like Dave Ramsey would tell you. Go, go fucking buy, you know, some S&P 500 index fund or something, right? That, that's what these YouTubers will tell you. No, go invest in things like this that are actually going to make some sort of an impact in your life and enable you to have that mental clarity. Because once you have the mental clarity, once you have the ability to actually actually function on some sort of normal level, I think then that's when you start to see the results, you know? I mean, I'm someone who pretty much every day, yeah, I mean, I didn't do t this morning because I was a little bitch, but pretty much this whole week, I've gone out and I've run five miles, three miles, tomorrow's another five, Sunday, Saturday's seven, and, you know, I have a proven track record of being able to run these sorts of miles. The only way I'm able to do this is because I have the mental clarity that this book right here has given me. So stop watching these finance YouTubers, stop doing all this stupid crap, and start focusing more on the self-improvement part of yourself. Don't worry about the money. The money is going to come. I know the money's going to come. I know for a fact if I work on my skills, I work on clearing up my mental, everything's going to come. I know that. So I just wanted to make this video, get this off my chest. And yeah, hopefully, oh, it's not too long. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that video.